Hi there again, it's Colin from Ozzle.org, so there's my website. Now, I'd like you to go to the Gmail website, gmail.com, because I'm going to go through what you need to do to set up a Gmail account. So when you get to your website Gmail, um, click on, select the button Create Account, and you create an account for yourself. And the next thing you need to do is to type in your name. So I'll put in... I put in my name and I want the email address Colin Dixon and I'll then put in a password. Now for a password, eight or more, more characters with a mix of letters, numbers and symbols. So I'll type in something here and then type it in again. And you can type there to check, make sure what you've typed in, and then we'll go select next. And most likely it'll tell you that the email address is taken. Try another, and it puts some suggestions down here that might be available. So I might decide, well, Cole Dixon looks like Cole Dixon, or Dixon Cole, or one of these. So 8.30 is available. Um, I might prefer to have a different number there and I might like to try a different number. But probably all the two digit numbers have gone so I'm looking for a three digit number. Um, so I might try um, 058 and see if that works. And that one's been taken. So I'll give up and just try one of the numbers that they've got. And then we go into the next screen. Now, here I need to type in my phone number to verify that I exist as a real person and the country I'm in, date of birth, gender, and so forth. But basically, all you need to do here is continue on and fill out the rest of the details but you do need a phone number a mobile number is best because they need to verify that you exist and you're a real person and uh, that's all that is required into putting setting up your Gmail account now we're setting up your Gmail account for the exercise we will be doing and you need to use your real name um, this is your professional address and you'll be using it when applying for jobs and so forth so you want it to be recognisable as you or some variation of you so that's all there is for this one so thanks for listening and uh, we'll talk to you again soon so goodbye